Welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name is Grant. Today I'm unboxing a guest of Robin Hood. And yes, that's the way you say it. Uh, the game is designed by Frederick Serval or Fred Serval and published by GMT Games. This is a brand new release. Came out here in May of 24. Started shipping early May. Um, this is a game that uses the Irregular Conflict series. In fact, I think it's Volume 2. Yeah, so it's Volume 2 in the Irregular Conflicts series from GMT. These have been described as coin-adjacent or coin-light because they use some of the asymmetry and the factions and concepts, but... Uh, do them in a slightly different way with some different uh, mechanics, etc. This game is actually based in fable, myth, lore, legend with the uh, legend of Robin Hood. Obviously the famous uh, bandit from Sherwood Forest. Uh, Fred put this game together. I remember when this came out or was announced. Oh my gosh, it was probably three, maybe four years ago. I was very much excited about it. Uh, now that it has come, I'm even more excited about it, and I was looking through it. I, I wanted to show you just the presentation on this one is absolutely gorgeous. Love the fellowship and the fun and the discussion that the Merry Men and Robin Hood are having around the fire out in Sherwood Forest. Even like the see the couple of cats there fighting a little bit. The cover is illustrated by Chechu Nieto, and he has done a couple of things. I think he did some work on the board for Nevsky and maybe a couple of others. Uh, but here's a look at the back of the box. Beautiful board, uh, really great looking cards, bunch of counters. Um, yeah, I'm very much excited about this. So the developer is Joe Dewhurst, and uh, designer there is Fred Serval. The game is for two players. I don't believe it has a um, solitaire system or a solitaire bot. And it plays in about 45 to 90 minutes. Yeah, very much looking forward to this one. Let's go ahead and get it open. You can see it's in one of their um, one-inch boxes. So not a huge box, but I like that because I can store more on my shelves, frankly. Uh, but here you go. First thing that kind of approaches us, and I, I really like this as I open the box. Here are kind of the three rules, books, references, scenario book, playbook, etc. Really like the color choices here. It gives a, I think, an aesthetic that is really nice, kind of harkens back to antiquity. Uh, the light green, the blue, and the golden rod. Very much enjoy that. But here are the rules. Not a lot of rules here. There's like 16 pages. I was briefly looking at them. Um, yeah, there's actually not. So pay, pay, the, the, past, the last three pages are kind of um, just looks at the different components. So I guess if you lost some counters or damaged some counters or played it enough that you wore the ink off, you could print those off. This is a key index term here on page 12. So the reality is there's only 11 pages of rules. And look at that art. That's that's amazing. Just nice uh, art in the rule book itself. I, I don't think this is going to be a very complex game, but I think it's going to be a very fun game. It uses uh, cards like most of the other coin series games, but uses them a, a little bit differently. There is the robbing of the coaches and the carriages. There are different pieces here. You can see they're called silver wedges or henchmen. So that's a henchman. And then these are Robin Hood's forces, Merry Men, Robin Hood himself, and then a camp. Ooh, I like the, uh, the deer on there. Very nice touch. But yeah, really. And then they have the kind of a learn to play tutorial. I was looking at this. Very nicely done. Talks about the different mechanics from recruiting to plots and deeds, robbing, etc. Just the game just looks really cool. Uh, and then the final is the playbook, which is a, a little bit more of a walkthrough of the history of the game. 
Uh, as you can see, it kind of has some background information and articles. I think almost all the cards are uh, referenced here and discussed, which I always really enjoy here, the Traveler cards. I did an interview with Fred on this game on the blog several years ago, so if you want uh, to get a little more information, you might want to check that out. Let's go ahead, and uh, the next thing that confronts us here is the mounted map board. Fairly small and concise. I'm good with that. You know, the game's going to not be a table hog and is going to look really nice on the table. Um, here you can see kind of the scoring tracks, justice and order. Uh, I assume, once again, the sheriff who's trying to keep order, this is his track, his swinging victory points, and then justice uh, is for the Merry Men and Robin Hood. I'll, but you can see Nottingham is a main central part here, surrounded by different territories, Sherwood Forest, the Shire, um, actually that's called Southwell Forest. Not sure there's really a Sherwood Forest uh, depicted. But the different areas here you can see are very, very clearly marked. Also, the detail on these board, this board is just phenomenal. Look at the little drawings. And the detail on the land spaces, you can see the roads. They're actually cobblestone. You can see trees and some of the terrain, hills and streams and rivers, mountains. Just a really nice looking product. Definitely they've gone all out on this one and I'm uh, very, very pleased here with the final end product. Here is the initiative track kind of down in this part of the board. First and second eligible and then the different uh, things that are going to happen. Prison box in the upper right. Obviously as the sheriff captures merry men, they're going to be arrested. Um, these are carriages, a carriage holding box. And then you can see the different spaces have a kind of a stance. These say passive, um, but maybe there are some that are agitated once they get going and the sheriff starts to uh, exert his inequity in how he uh, adjudicates the law. Uh, yeah, beautiful board. The next thing are uh, so, some of the paper products. So it only has a half counter sheet here. They are double-sided. But I got it upside down. Here are some of those carriages. Here are the, I think the, uh, yeah, these are the submit, submission, and then revolt. These are going to go in these boxes. So that's kind of cool. Really nice artistic touch to those. The carriages there. These say spares. So it looks like maybe these three are spare pieces. Um, probably money. If I'm not mistaken, there's some money on the back of those carriages. So when you capture those, and then here's just some different markers, the bridge, Royal Inspection, bridge. So yeah, just a little, just a few counters. There are a couple of player kind of screens. These are folded and have some of the information on the inside sequence of play, order and justice, Rob summary, how to do that, travelers, and then the Royal Inspection. Yeah, those are really nice looking. Nice touch there. Uh, and then these are available for, or these are player boards. So this is Robin Hood and the Merry Men. You've got your plots up here, your deeds, and then your available forces. On the back, it's got setup and some opening strategies. And then here is the uh, forces of the sheriff. Carriages, forces, plots and deeds. And then once again, some setup and opening points of strategy. Those are very nice, very nicely laid out. Love the color, love the color palette that they chose for the game. As a coin series adjacent or a regular conflict series game, there's a bunch of wood. I'll go ahead and open up some of these to show you the, these are embossed pieces uh, that are used for a, a number of different, to represent a number of different forces or markers on the different tracks. Here's those camps. Uh, you can see that dough. Very, very nice. These are pawns. Typically, these are used when you're taking actions in certain areas. These are those henchmen, the silver discs, they call them. This represents uh, Robin Hood's score and resources on these 
uh, these tracks here. Uh, and then here you have the uh, Merry Men. And they, you can see they have an embossed leaf there. Very, very nice looking. There's Robin Hood's piece specifically. Yeah, very nice looking, as you would expect uh, with any of these coin series games. And frankly, any of GMT Games uh, products, they always do a, a very nice job. I'm trying to open the dice here. These are custom dice. Uh, they are six-siders, but they have numbers printed on them. And not just numbers like one through six, but plus two, negative one, plus three, negative two, zeros, negative one. So these are customized dice. That's a very nice touch as well. Uh, you get a bunch of baggies in the, and this is the insert. I will get rid of the insert. I will just recycle that. It is not... Um, necessary. I should have opened these beforehand because these are extremely well vacuum sealed and I may not be able to uh, get these open very easily, but I'll show you one of the cards. This is a rich merchant and I think these are, what are these called? Plots or, no, they don't say, but there's the card backs. Very nice. Rich merchant. You can just see the exquisite antiquity style uh, art, which I think is a great choice here, uh, but it tells some of the, these These are probably the event cards. Um, and then here you have more of these. These are green backed, whereas these are uh, brown backed. So you can see day at the market, and then it's got a uh, some text there. This is probably event number one. Uh, but the game does revolve around cards. Similar to all the games in the coin series and uh, the couple of games in the Irregular Conflict series thus far. The first game in the Irregular Conflict series is Vijaya Nagara. Uh, I unboxed boxed that probably a month ago. We have played a final version with one of the designers, Severio Spagnoli. We played that with him while we uh, made our trip to... Noble Knight Games last fall. Phenomenal looking game. Beautiful. The game is absolutely fun and really gives you that coin feeling, but in a faster playing uh, with some really unique twists. So yeah, here's just a look at some more of these, these cards. Just gorgeous. Great Escape. Boats and Bridges. Ambush. Temporary Truce. Will Scarlet. The Red Cap. Great, great looking cards. Really fantastic art. Uh, this is going to be a really awesome game. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, can't wait to get it played. Alexander and I both, as you know, we love the coin series and um, the Irregular Conflict series. I, I just feel like is a different style of coin, and I'm totally okay with that. So there you go. There's a look at a Guest of Robin Hood. Very much excited about this game. So glad that we received a copy uh, and we will be definitely playing this, hopefully many times, and reviewing it. Uh, Fred Serval's also designed a couple of other games. I'll mention them here very briefly. Red Flag Over Paris. My gosh, that was two, almost three years ago. That is a one of those lunchtime series style games that uses the same system as Fort Sumter with the Final Crisis. Uses cards and cubes to control areas. Fantastic little game. Very much, much more of a war game than Fort Sumter was. Uh, that was his first design. This was kind of the second one that's announced. His third one is not a GMT design, but it is a, a very civil whist. It's a trick-taking war game that's going to be published by Phalanx. So very much look forward to playing that, but I'm very excited about A Guest of Robin Hood. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I've been Grant for the Player's Aid.